Tonda, and this is Lachlan, and we're going to share a game called uh, Make Ten with you. It's combinations to ten bingo. Uh, we have a board, and you can make your own board. It's kind of a four by five, and um, so you could just get a piece of paper and, and plug in the numbers zero to ten and in a random order, and so then you would have your own game board at home. We're also using some pennies for our markers or in our counters, and I'm also using some dimes. So those are some things that you would find at your house. And since I know most of you don't have spinners, we I've just made some cards, and you can, with the numbers, usually two of each one from zero to 10. And you can also use cards or um, and just cut up paper with the uh, two of each digit on them, two of each number. For zero to ten so then you would have a, a set to pick from so we're going to demonstrate and show you how to play combinations to ten bingo so we're I'm just and you can kind of make your own way of how you want them to pick a card so I'm just going to kind of spread them out and Lachlan's going to go first and she's going to pick a card and Lachlan go ahead and pick a card and show the camera what card you picked so she picked number three. So Lachlan, what goes with three to make a 10? Um, a, a, mm -hmm. And how many more to make a 10? Seven. Seven, yes. So she used her fingers there to help her a little bit and that's good. So she's gonna find a seven on the board and she's gonna put a penny on that number. Can you find a seven? Yes. And she's gonna try to get three in a row. Mm -hmm. Three in a row will be a bingo. So the first person to get three in a row. I also have made um, a rectangle that has 10 boxes. So there's five on the top and five on the bottom. So if she needed some help and she didn't use her fingers, she could have also put three pennies on here. And then she could look to see how many more would it take to fill up the 10. So this is a little more support if they need that. But she did seem to do fine with just using her fingers. So now it's my turn. And I picked a two. So, Lachlan, can you help me? What goes with two to make a ten? Uh, eight. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to put one on eight. Okay, and we're going to continue this until there's three in a row. Okay, so go ahead. Pick a card. What'd you get? Six. Six. What goes with six to make ten? Four. Yep. So, you get to put one on four. Now, there might be more than one four, so look at both fours. So, yeah, okay. So then you can get another one here. No, you can't put it on both. You can only choose. Do you want to place it on this four or that four? It doesn't matter. Whichever way you think would be like the best for you. Best. Okay. Cool. So you're trying to get three this away? I see. Okay, my turn. I have a seven. How many go with seven to make ten? Um, So guess what? I have two in a row now. Okay. So your turn. One. How many go with one to make ten? If you only have one, how many more do you need? Nine. Nine is right. So can you find a nine? Okay. Nice. Yeah. Trying to block me there, right? Yeah. Oh, I have ten. How many more go with ten to make ten? Zero is right. So guess what? Uh, Bingo! I've got three in a row. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, so that's our bingo game, and it's a really great way for kids to uh, who need practice on their facts within 10. So, okay, thank you for watching.